Hello, grade students. Here's another episode of Learn Me in Facebook live streaming in Mathematics Pen. The topic is about mutually exclusive events and problem solving. In this lesson, you should be able to illustrate mutually exclusive events and solve problems involving probability. Let us explore and analyze some situations or events in our life that you cannot do both and happen at the same time. Like when you are turning to left and turning to right, can you do both at the same time? Probably not. And when you toss a one peso coin, can you get ahead and a tail at the same time? Absolutely not. This kind of events that cannot happen at the same time is called mutually exclusive events. Consider that event A containing the elements 1, 2, 3, and event B containing the elements 5, 8, 9. Using a Venn diagram, as you see, set A and set B have no common elements, which means that the sets are disjoint. Thus, A intersection B is an empty set. Furthermore, the probability of the disjoint set A and set B is zero. Now, let us have an activity. Click heart emoji if the given pair of events are mutually exclusive. And like emoji if not. You have five seconds to give your answer. Number one, rolling a die. A is a set that contains an even number, and B is a set that contains an odd number. That's right, heart emoji. It is not possible to have a common element between an even number and an odd number. Number two, Drawing a card from a standard deck of cards, A is a set that contains the red card, and B is a set that contains the black card. Correct! Heart emoji. It is not possible to have a common card between red and black cards. Number 3. Picking a number from 1 to 15. A is a set that contains an even number, and B is a set that contains number less than 20. Like emoji, it is possible to pick with common element in set A and set B, which are divisible by 2, and less than 20, respectively. Number 4. Drawing a card from standard deck of cards, A is a set that contains jack, and B is a set that contains queen. Right. Card emoji. It is not possible to get a common card. Now you know what mutually exclusive is. Let us apply in problem solving and also find the probability. In a standard deck of cards, there are four suits. Clubs, spades, hearts, and diamonds. Each suit contains 13 cards. 10 cards from ace to 10, and 3 face cards, jack, queen, and king. So we have 52 cards in total. The clubs and spade suits are color black, while the hearts and diamonds are color red. Now, in a standard deck of cards, find the probability of drawing a heart as event H, and black card as event B. 
In the question, it uses the word end. That means intersection. We know that the heart and diamond suits are red. It is impossible for us to draw a heart card. That is also a black card. Using Venn diagram, the probability of drawing a heart is 13 over 52. And drawing a black card is 26 over 52. Since it is impossible to draw a heart card and black card, the two sets do not overlap. And they do not have something in common. And that makes it mutually exclusive. Thus, the probability of drawing a heart and black card is zero. Letter B. Drawing a heart as event H or a black card as event B. In the question, it uses the word or. That means union. The probability of drawing a heart or a black card is possible. So we use probability of H or B is equal to probability of H plus probability of B. We have 13 cards of hearts while 26 black cards. And the total cards in standard deck is 52. So we have 13 over 52 plus 26 over 52. The probability of H or B is equal to 39 over 52. When reduced to lowest terms, is equal to 3 fourths. Thus, the probability of drawing a heart or a black card is 3 fourths or 75%. Letter C. Drawing a heart as event H and a face card as event F. In the heart suit, there are 10 which are not face cards, meaning ace to 10, while 3 of which are face cards, jack, queen, king. In terms of face cards, there are a total of 12 face cards for each suit, where 3 of those are of heart suit. By looking at the Venn diagram, events H and F are not mutually exclusive because they have common elements, which are hearts with face cards and the probability of getting a heart and face card is 3 over 52. Using the addition rule, the probability of H or F is equal to probability of H plus probability of F minus probability of H and F, which is equal to 13 over 52 plus 12 over 52 minus 3 over 52. The probability of H or F is equal to 22 over 52. When reduced to lowest terms, is equal to 1126. The probability of drawing a heart, which is also a face card, is 1126 or 42.31%. Example 2. In a group of 40 people, 10 are healthy and every person of the remaining 30 has either high blood pressure a high level of cholesterol or both. If 15 have high blood pressure and 25 have high level of cholesterol, how many people have high blood pressure and a high level of cholesterol? Let represent X be the number of people with both high blood pressure and high level of cholesterol. 15 minus X will be the number of people with high blood pressure only. 25 minus X will be the number of people with high level of cholesterol only. We can now express the total number of people with high blood pressure only, with high level of cholesterol only, 
and with both is equal to 30. Thus, 15 minus x plus 25 minus x plus x is equal to 30. Simplify by combining similar terms, 40 minus x is equal to 30. Use addition property of equality to solve for x, it becomes 40 minus 30 is equal to x. So, 10 is equal to x or x is equal to 10. Thus, 10 people have both high blood pressure and high level of cholesterol. Letter B. What is the probability that the person has high blood pressure and high level of cholesterol? This is event A and B. From our answer in letter A, 10 out of 40 people have both high blood pressure and high level of cholesterol. Therefore, the probability of event A and B is equal to 10 over 40 or 1 fourth. Thus, the probability that a person has both high blood pressure and high level of cholesterol is one-fourth or 25%. Letter C. What is the probability that the person has high blood pressure? Let us name it as event A. From the problem, 15 out of 40 people has high blood pressure. The probability of event A is equal to 15 over 40 or 3 eighths. Thus, the probability that a person has high blood pressure is 3 eighths or 37.5%. Letter D. What is the probability that a person has high level of cholesterol? Let us name it as event B. From the problem, 25 out of 40 people have high level of cholesterol. Therefore, the probability of event B occurring is equal to 25 over 40 or 5 eighths. Thus, the probability that a person has high level of cholesterol is 5 eighths or 62.5%. Letter E. What is the probability that a person has either high blood pressure or high level of cholesterol? This is event A or B. This question requires us to solve for the probability of selecting persons who either has high blood pressure or high level of cholesterol but not both. From the previous questions, we have already answered and used the following information. 15 over 40 is the probability randomly selecting a person with high blood pressure. 25 over 40 is the probability of randomly selecting a person with high level of cholesterol. 10 over 40 is the probability of randomly selecting a person with both high blood pressure and high level cholesterol. Now, using the addition rule, we have the probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B is equal to 15 over 40 plus 25 over 40 minus 10 over 40. Combine the numerators and write in one similar denominator is equal to 15 plus 25 minus 10 over 40. Is equal to 30 over 40. When reduced to lowest terms, is equal to 3 fourths. Thus, the probability that a person has either high blood pressure or high level of cholesterol is 3 fourths or 75%. Example 3. There are 500 students in a certain school. 
180 students are taking algebra. 110 students are taking chemistry. And 30 students are taking both algebra and chemistry. We can represent the given using Venn diagram to answer the following questions. What is the probability that the student is taking algebra as event A? Since there are 180 out of the 500 students taking algebra, then probability of A is equal to 180 over 500 or 9 25 Therefore, the probability that the student taking algebra is 9 25 or 36%. What is the probability that the student is taking chemistry as event C? Since there are 110 out of the 500 students taking chemistry, then probability of C is equal to 110 over 500 or 11 50ths. Therefore, the probability that the student taking chemistry is 1150s or 22%. Now it's time to check what you have learned and try to solve the following problems. You have 30 seconds to give your answer. Number one, the probability that a student belongs to a school club is 0 0.4. The probability that a student Works part time in restaurant is 0.5. The probability that a student belongs to a school club and works part time is 0.05. So, what is the probability that a student belongs to a school club or works part time? Go. Answer. Applying the addition rule, the probability of C or P is equal to probability of C plus probability of P minus probability of C and T is equal to 0 0.4 plus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.05 is equal to 0 0.85. Therefore, the probability that a student belongs to a school club our works part time is 0 0.85. Number two, a survey found out that 67% of people are married. They ask the same group of people, and 56% have at least one child. If there are 41% that are married and have at least one child, what is the probability that a person in the survey is married? or has a child. Go. Answer, the probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B is equal to 0 0.67 plus 0 0.56 minus 0 0.41 is equal to 0 0.82 or 82%. Therefore, the probability that a person is married or has a child is 82%. Number three, 
A card is drawn from a well shuffled deck of cards of 52 playing cards. What is the probability that the card drawn is a queen or a heart? Answer, the probability of Q or H is equal to probability of Q plus probability of H minus probability of Q and H is equal to 4 over 52 plus 13 over 52 minus 1 over 52 is equal to 16 over 52 is equal to 4 thirteens. Therefore, the probability of drawing a queen or a heart is 4 thirteens or 30.8%. Number 4. Find the probability of A or B and probability of A and B. If A contains 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, B contains A, E, I, O, U. And the complement of A, union B, contains 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Answer, the probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B is equal to 5 over 15 plus 5 over 15, which is equal to 10 over 15 or 2 thirds. Probability of A and B is equal to 0. So here are the important ideas for today's discussion. Mutually exclusive events are events that cannot happen at the same time or called disjoint sets. If event A and B are disjoint, their probability is zero. The addition rule of probability consists of two formulas with one that accommodates two mutually exclusive events. It's the sum of the probability of event A and event B. And if the two non-mutually exclusive events are happening, the probability is the sum of the probability of event A and event B minus the probability of both events A and B. For frequently asked questions, what are other examples of mutually exclusive events? Other examples are even and odd numbers on a die, winning and losing a game, or running and walking. How do you know if two events are mutually exclusive? Two events are mutually exclusive if they cannot occur at the same time. Another word that means mutually exclusive is disjoint. If two events are disjoint, then the probability is zero. To improve your skill, solve the following problems. Share positive moves to achieve happiness. I'm Sir Richard S. Retracion from the Landani National High School. Thank you for watching and stay safe.